Yeah, you should learn to knock. What if I was indecent? Chair Forbes gave us another location to check. Memphis. Another dead end, you mean? You don't know that. You're right, Atlanta. This could be the one. After almost two months, this could be the clue that tells us Stefan is alive and well and living in Graceland. Fine. I'll go by myself. And let Klaus know that you're tracking him. He thinks you're dead. Let's keep it that way. It's a new lead, Damon. We haven't had one in a while. Okay. I'll check it out. If I find anything, I'll call you. But... This is the starting of my greatest fear. Don't worry, I'm not gonna lose it. At least not before the cake. It's your party. You can cry if you want to. Then you call and tell me that. Oh, Stefan. Such a pack rat. I'm the one who put the rock in wrong in life. I got you something. I know I promised not to buy you anything, so don't worry, I didn't pay for it. You stole it? No. Found it. Now the light is done much anyway. I thought I'd never see it again. The lark found it in his loft. I figured you'd be happy to get it back. I am happy. <clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome. Can you? Uh, absolutely. She's the least bit curious about the whole Nancy Drew and the creepster professor thing. Caroline will take over. I can't stay here knowing that Stefan's out there somewhere. Yeah. Well. That's Stefan's daily, right? Snagged it from Silas yesterday. And for the record, I am secure enough in our relationship that you having psychic dreams about your ex-boyfriend does not bother me. But it still sucks. I love you. We're gonna save Stefan. And I'm still gonna love you. Okay? Really lock your door. Oh, come on, Pouty. Please give me two points for ingenuity. Do you think this is funny? Yes, Elena. I find hilarity in the lengths that I have to go to to repeatedly save your life. What did Stefan say about this? We had a good laugh. And what did he say about Elijah still being alive? Yeah, that. 
I didn't tell him. Why not? Well, A, you can't do anything about it, and B, what I just said. Where's Bonnie? I thought she was meeting you. No, she's on Moonstone duty, and I'm on Elena patrol. And he was on Tyler Lockwood in the full moon. Vampire Barbie asked me if she could handle him. I said, why not? Figured if she screwed up, he'd bite her, and then I'll be rid of two of my problems. Hold on a second. Tonight's the full moon? Yeah, but you're too absorbed with all your suicidal tendencies to notice. What? Sheriff Forbes has officially declared Mason Lockwood a missing person. What? Why? Some girl from Florida showed up on the Lockwood's doorstep looking for Mason. What girl? I don't know. But she sure got everyone in a tizzy. That's not good. Where are you? I'm at the grill. I'm on my way. Change of plans. You babysit. Hey, you know, you should get out. Enjoy the sun. Oh, wait. You can't. <laughs> Seat's taken. But there's no one here. Well, I'm just gonna pretend like there's someone there because the alternative is just too damn depressing. Did you set off the explosion that killed the town council? Am I wearing my I blew up the council t-shirt? Why does everybody keep asking me that? Did you? No. Anything else? Yes. Something's wrong. I can't keep any of the animal blood down. Well, there's a shock. I think I need your help. <sighs> of course you do. Pick your meal. You got Asian fusion, Mexican. What about some good old American comfort food? No. No, no human blood. Stefan's right. I have to at least try to get through this without hurting anyone. Fine. Come on. What are you doing? Giving you what you need. Drink. What? You're a new vampire, Elena. You need warm blood from the vein. Maybe this will do the trick. Or not, but just don't tell Stephen. <laughs> Why not? Because blood sharing is kind of personal. What do you mean it's personal? Just drink. I just don't know why you want to bring chili to a potluck. Everybody brings chili. Hey, Rick. What's up? What time do you want to go to the Lockwood party? Ah, oh, those founders parties aren't really my thing. Show up. There's going to be nine other people that brought chili. It's an old family recipe, OK? Yeah, I know. I knew your old family. They made sucky chili. <laughs> why are you here, exactly? She knows. He thinks I'm going to break. I'm not going to break. I'm just gonna keep making chili. Pretend like I didn't just spend the entire summer looking for someone who didn't want to be found. She's in denial. I'm not in denial. No? I'm still wearing this necklace. Isn't this a reminder of your unbreakable bond with Stefan? that have gotten me here. I deserve this. I deserve to die. No. 
You don't. I do, Alina. It's okay. Because if I'd have chosen differently, I wouldn't have met you. I'm so sorry. I've done so many things to hurt you. It's okay. I forgive you. I know you love stuff. God, I won't always be stuff. But I love you. You should know that. Huh? I do. You should have met me in 1864. You would have liked me. Huh? I like you now. Just the way you are. My lips My eyes begin to linger longer than they should. I should go before I lose my sense of reason. And it's how I hold more meaning than it ever could. I should go. I should go, baby, I should go. Who's ever gonna be ready for that? I love you. 